Hello everyone, my name is What, and I'll be your narrator. Today, we'll be taking a look at Level 30 of the Backrooms, also known as The Mall. Classes Safety, Unsafe, Stability, Stable, Geometry, Nonlinear. Danger Level Mild, Hazards, Life Form Dangers, Surreality Class 5. Nostalgia Factor, 4. Population, 0. Chaos Integrity, 20. Level 30 is the start of the trigeminal levels of the backrooms. Description Level 30 appears to be a dead shopping mall, presumably of infinite size. This dead mall mostly consists of hallways and empty store space. Although, some of these spaces are empty, some of them may come with useful resources. The materials of the walls, floor, and ceiling can also change every few kilometers. Sometimes, these mall types can be also be themed through a holiday or season. They don't reflect the time from baseline reality, meaning that different themes can be right next to each other. This level possesses non-linear geometry. A lot of places where the stores on this level should be are completely empty. Sometimes, they even have bars, making entry impossible. However, this only rarely happens. Often, these stores are able to be entered. A lot of the time, these stores are almost completely empty except for a few walls. Rarely, these stores actually contain anything. However, if they have anything, it's often out-of-place things, which would not normally be sold in a mall of baseline reality. For example, streetlights, entire playgrounds, and cars. Level 30 always has at least three floors, sometimes even more than three. These can be reached through stairs or sometimes escalators, which can be found around every 30 to 50 kilometers. Upper floors usually are almost complete copies of the floors below them, with only a few differences, like wallpaper being different or stores containing different resources. Level 30 also possesses an underground, which is around 50 meters below the main floor. Its entrance is often inconsistent and often using ladders or stairs to descend. This underground looks like the opposite of the main floor. If the main floor is very colorful, the underground below it may be very dull. There is really only just one thing that remains consistent throughout the underground, which is that it is always very dark, as there is no light sources that function, so it is recommended to bring a flashlight or similar light sources when exploring the underground. Stores in the underground are always empty, and sometimes even the entrances of the stores is flipped upside down and is in a location on the ceiling, making it near impossible to access these stores. The underground is also home to metros, which are the only exit out of this level. Metros on this level appear to be from the 80s. The metro itself is around 2 kilometers long and 3 meters high. They are illuminated by a row of lights on the ceiling. The area itself seems to be mostly pristine and clean. Sometimes benches exist in these metros. Often they are knocked down or made out of wood and generally don't fit the rest of the environment. Locations shown on signs do not seem to exist in baseline reality, although other words are recognizable. These texts only appear for a few seconds. The train itself seems to also be from the 80s. The interior of the train looks close to that of baseline reality. Chairs on both sides with color ranging from blue to green. It is worth mentioning that, despite the train having lights inside, they seem too dim to light the area, leaving the interior in almost complete darkness when traveling. The tunnel the train follows is also completely dark, having absolutely no light. Only smilers exist on this level. They can only be found lurking in dark corners of the underground. Sometimes they can also be found in the metro. Accessibility Methods Entrances Going to a negative floor on level 29 by finding an extra button on an elevator will lead here. An alternative way to enter is to find a mall-like entrance in level 60. Entering it will lead here. Exits When sitting down on one of the trains in the metro, the train will start driving to level 31. This can take 2 to 24 hours. There is a chance that the train will go off course. If this happens, the train will drive to level 90. This travel will most likely last approximately 48 hours.